Yeah. Is inside still. They don't have uh, their biggest player in there tonight. And you know, Kevin Gelly is from Florida State, and Jason March, the head coach for the opposition tonight, is from Florida State. But I don't think he's cheering his alumnus. Team <laughs> that he's had at least 20 points this season. 12 point difference on the scoreboard. We're under three minutes to play. Bond's going to drive and score. Saw that opening and ran it all the way. He had a big first half, but we haven't heard much of him in the second half. Bond rebounds here for the Vipers. And Bond up, left hand, layup is good. Nice feed, Bond tap to Kevin Gelly, and he. 58 50. No, some players like to go out really early, and some players like to wait. What we've come to expect, they're one of better than Windy City right now. Njai blocked away. Skinny corner, not much room there's to There's not with. much room there at all. Man, Bulls with just five, and there's Tim Bond and a foul. Tim Bond, practice makes perfect. He's making us look good, talking about that extra work he put in. And any level, here you see the, again the nice strong drive to the basket. Eyes on the rim, able to finish with a nice soft touch. He knows nothing's been going right for this team tonight. Not the calls, not the plays or the shots. Tim Bond lays it in. All you know, you said 28. Clippers, in all three quarters of this game, scored 29 points each quarter. Yeah, that's kind of... Baseline drive, tough shot, no. Rebound, tip to Lamb. Sending it ahead for Bond. Bond to the rim and gets the jam. Shaq get hit in the head. Bond guarded by Buchanan. Bond will take it all the way up and score. Other end. Kelly a 46% three-point shooter. Four of six in their last. With the Vipers uh, three years ago as well when they won the uh, NBA G League title. Here's Bond driving inside and scores. This is Bond. Bond, by the way, with seven assists. And wide open is Mitchell inside and he scores. Final minute. Bucket for Tim Bond. At the moment, defensively, he just said, play with active hands. A theme that we've heard throughout this entire game is also to continue being vocal, being down only four. He wants to see this team push for the Doing a good job taking one for the team there. Foster bounce pass to Bond, bounces it to Smith and Smith. Over the basketball, so to speak, what is going to happen? But you rather have a turnover like that where you have the opportunity to set up your defense. But on the other hand, 110 to play in the quarter. Tim Bond. To the right elbow, the right block, high off the glass and rim for two. Tim Bond, second pass. Seven to shoot. Bottle drive, kick it out. Smith, open look, and got it. And it gives. This is badly, and that's a rebound to Memphis. Buchanan running the break, and it take it solo, and lost the handle. Never see Buchanan again, and yeah, it was Bond. Came in there at the last moment tonight. Saldama nearly throws it away. It's stolen by Bond now after Moore tried to save it. Bond on the break. Bounce pass to Green. Up and score! So 68-44, favor of Memphis. 95 seconds to go. Bond trying to alley-oop oh. it to Tyler Bay. Wow. And they need it at 4-7 and seven on the year. That's a turnover off the inbounds. Windy City gets an extra possession, and Drell cashes in. Mixed by six. Trying to split this mini two-game series. Bond and one. Picked up by Bond. Bond speeds ahead and lays it in. Just a one-point game. Where they've been shooting nearly perfect from the free throw line. 10 for 12 today. Bond with the rejection. After 7-10 remaining in the third, that was poked by Crab. Headman feet to him as he goes in. And a good defensive play by Bond. Bond snaking through and finishing with the left hand. Dewan Hernandez right behind him with 15. And on the other, maybe if you're nice to him, he'll uh, lend you some of his friends. Right, I'm going to have to talk to him after the game. <laughs> Tim Bond on the pull up, bags it for. The play that they were missing in the first half because he was in foul trouble, by the way. Bond driving in, left handed, scores large in the fourth quarter and they were unable to come back in, in each of them. Brozdakis finds Tim Bond. That's going to do it at the buzzer. The three is good and unfortunately not going to get You see a, that at every level now too. Kids kids that are eight years old are working on that Euro step. Perfecting those angles. 
Here's Admiral now. Nice pass to a streaking Timbon. He's got two. Gets that one to go. Lakeland back in front by two. I like Crawford made. Speaking of defensive intensity. How about that? Tim Bond with the finish. The majority of this game. That's what this team is about. They're one of the be better defensive teams in the NBA, in the G League and uh, not getting a lot of stops. Some great stories on this Long Island Nets team. Tariqa White uh, drafted 36th overall by Detroit. Never played an NBA game. Trying to get back. Three good for Tim Bond. Team from deep. It's a team that shoots it well from three. Tenth in the league yet just about 35% of the game. Bond got by McCurr. Circus layup. Do you get to see Stacy in the lab taste testing like a mad yeah, scientist? Yeah, Stacy's like the mad scientist trying to come <laughs> up with all the flavors, so it's just right. Tim, Tim Bond, Bond, another three. Yeah. Aston Francis missed the three earlier. Teske with the rebound. Bond towards the left corner, and the three is good. Tim Bond, welcome back, my friend. Floated pass. Down the four. Bulls need to hurry. Good defense by the Magic. Double team forces the turnover. And on the other end, Tim. NBA G League Basketball, live on NBC Sports Chicago Plus. Just one of four on three-point attempts. Same with the Magic. Magic struggling from the field at three of nine. And Jeremiah Tillman. Well, I'll tell you, the, the, the brand of basketball they played to this point, Chris, as you've said several times, very fun to watch. Tipped around after the miss. Bond has it. Maybe a two-on-one. Lob up top. And the finish. Keep it. Clemens almost recovered into the lap of Thompson and laid in by Bond. Yeah, I like what I've seen so far. He, you know, you see him in person. He does have some athletic ability. And all the way, a dribble penetration and a basket. He's being rewarded by Henry Domarsant with a start today. So Bond, a jump pass to a wide open oh. thunder jam by Troy Baxter. He puts the ball on the floor, bounces right top to Alford on the weave now to Roach, who's back in. Left wing, Bond, the open three ball. Splashes it's it going to be a guy that uh, I think we'll see back here playing for Windy City, and he will give them more strength on the inside. Take a look at the sneakers he's sporting. That's kind of a, a dreamsicle look there. Is he, uh, the old Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Steve, Steve Kerr and his dad. The great George Carl. He's like the absentee boss, just kind of spying to see what's going on. <laughs> Come the Bulls, let's see if Perry Jones the third gets some action. Just set a screen, and there's Tim Bond. There's that, that extra work. Looking for something, Perry and Calendra coming over to help. Tim Bond, who was the first round pick for the Windy City Bulls in the recent draft. A little step back shot. He knocks it down to get in the scoreboard. 15 shoe, that's gotta be difficult to appear <laughs> right inside the paint line. Not an easy maneuver, you're right about that. So we approach the 92nd mark of the first quarter. Bond for three, six All right. down. Stanley was short. Bulls still by three. We've hit it an offensive drought, but that comes to an end. <laughs>